Our next speaker is going to be an activist, Vaughn Mays. Um, I want to start by saying that it's funny that the same group of people who champion All Lives Matter just spent this whole trial telling us in America why JoJo and Anthony's life didn't. Mm -hmm. So I just want to start with that. Mm -hmm. um, but today a message was sent, um, sent to every supremacist or person who just opposes and disagrees with calls for reform, stories of injustice and calls for equal protection, let alone equal application of the law in America for all people. You've clearly told them to pick up your weapons, arm even your child, go to your nearest protest, antagonize and offend people. And if they react, armed or unarmed, say you fear for your life and you can shoot them without reprimand. You're telling people that when you see a building burned or a store looted, you can act with an AR-15 in defense of that building or of your life. But if you see someone get gunned down, you have no respected or recognized right to intervene or detain that person. You're telling every black and brown person that you can be accused of double homicide and even attempted uh, homicide and the judge will come off the bench and let you stand behind him within reach close enough for an ear whisper. Or you can now refuse to report your whereabouts to the court or prosecutors during the process of your court case. It's bad enough our cities across this nation still have to deal with unchecked police violence, abuse, and violations of black and brown citizens, but now we have to accept that everyday white citizens, even teenagers, can decide who is a criminal and who deserves to live or die in the streets of America. Kyle Rittenhouse was an abuser of women. That's documented on video. Kyle Rittenhouse expressed his, him wanting to take the life or shoot at people with a weapon um, during what he considered to be rioting and looting. That's documented on video. Kyle was more violent than any of those people that were out there those nights. Kyle was prone to violence, and he should not have been allowed loose on the streets of Kenosha. Several nights of unrest with no loss of life until he stepped foot here. But these are the so-called heroes of folks who call themselves patriots and true Americans. That's sickening. There are states right now, Florida and others, either passing laws or attempting to pass laws where protesters can be driven over without reprimand. This ruling is no different than that. What would stop any person who hates protesters of any color and, see, and seeking them out and using these protections to carry out their violent fantasies with immunity? The city of Kenosha and its law enforcement will have to answer for why this was able to happen on y'all streets. Yes, sir. Why are militia claiming law enforcement conspired to send protesters their way for them to take care of the protesters? Why were there strategies in place for protesters but nothing in place for armed militia members? Mm -hmm. Some who clearly organized online making threats and comments that show intent to come here to cause harm. The loopholes in these state laws that are clearly in place for some folks and not others need to change. Let's be honest, what would happen if we put assault rifles in the hands of 17 year olds from Milwaukee mm -hmm. and sent them to the nearest suburb claiming that they were there to protect anything? What would happen? This has been January 6th all over. Come on. We all know that had that been BLM or even Antifa, what the result would have been. But this country continues to show the divide that does not need to be created, but, has, but that has always been there. And until that divide is addressed and fixed, we will always end up right where we are. Martin Luther King said riots are the language of the unheard. And y'all are still not hearing us. Come on. Fix the reason folks have to take to the streets to begin with, and then you won't have to worry about the loss of property, and we won't have to complain about the loss of our lives. Thank you. Give it up.